Yeah, yeah, DMV, you know what time it is. None other than the Baseline Podcast presented by the Everyday Weekend. I am your host as always, Capo, feeling good, feeling great. To the left of me as always is none other than my good man and young Mitchell we trust. Let's get a councilman of the murder capital. Yeah, man, we're running for office. Yeah, somebody need to get Mary up out of there. Yeah. Anybody. If not me, then who? It, you know. Uh, to the right of me, it's been a minute, but she right back in it. The one and only... Y'all know her. We love her. Big solo in this motherfucker. You feel me? You feel me? We I mean, do we? Do it. Don't do it. <laughs> Big slide. You already like know. Yeah, baby. Yes, yeah, sir. We back. We back. We back. Um, with the big face Roly. <laughs> that watch looks heavy. It uh, does. She been working out. That's why she can wear it. Mm-hmm. That's why she can. Ooh, <laughs> ooh. How, how are you guys? Missed you guys. It's been a while. I'm doing well. Doing well. How about yourself? I'm good, man. Uh, last week's show was fun. We did a two man uh, 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 pick and roll episode. Yeah, we was um, Jaden Styles. Yeah, 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 yeah. It was, was beautiful. It was fun. It was fun. We had a good had a good time. I know we we did all right on the episode when somebody very close to the show calls me about a clip. Mm-hmm. And Solo was like, "Yo, that clip about," and I was like, "Oh, okay. Yes. It got your attention, huh? That's sensational." Yeah, Which clip was it? Was it the McDonald's? No, I think I called you about the Tesla clip. Oh, yeah. You was like, fuck the AI. <laughs> I had a comment about that one. I was like, yeah, it's provocative. It gets the people going. Mm-hmm. That's what we need. <laughs> <laughs> about to take this nigga out. <laughs> Welcome back. Welcome back. <laughs> we lit. Death about beer is crazy. Okay, I'm here. Whew. All right, so we got some topics. Uh, first and foremost, let me do the announcements at the front of the show, not the back of the show. Okay. Um, This Wednesday... The day that this show drops, um, Fresh Produce returns for the kickoff show for 2024 at The Pocket. Mm-hmm. Uh, RSVPs, I think, are full, but if not, they will be by now. By the time you're hearing this, they'll be done. Um, doors is at 6, sign up 6 to 7. Um, should be a great night. What fruit are you guys purchasing for this episode? Uh, I'm not sure. Mm-hmm. I usually play it by ear when I get there, mm-hmm. trying to see what's looking right, smelling right, you know? Gotcha. Because uh, it's never the same fruit It's always something it's, it's, Switch it up It's a little medley in there. I usually try to put grapes in the game Yeah Bananas Yo you niggas popped out with blood oranges one time Yeah I yeah. thought I thought they had gone bad I had just never seen the fruit I had never seen them I was like ah oh, Shit We had um These meat apples Like meaty apples that we got When we was doing the joints at uh, Birdland Because it was just like Exotic fruit market Around the corner And we were just going in there Buying meat shit Meat apples Yeah Like the inside of the apple Really was textured like Meat like chicken What Was Jolly. it good It was odd It was meaty and crispy Like like fresh Not, fresh. not really it was crisp fried. Not really crisp <laughs> It was just Just meaty I mean like you know how An apple is crisp When you bite into it Yeah nah It wasn't like it that It was none of that Nah It was just meaty It was like tough skin And then meaty Ooh okay It was very interesting all right. It wasn't bad. It was just like so new. I don't have a rating. It was just like this is a completely new experience. Okay. It was very weird. Okay. Enough about weird apples. Um, what was I at? Would you rather a weird fresh apple produce. or a bad apple? I'm not doing this. <laughs> okay. Hey, so fresh produce <laughs> is Wednesday, January tenth. Tenth. All right. Friday, January twelfth. OCA Stacks B Day Bash at Crescendo Studios. Earfuck and OCA presenting fire lineup over there. I know Payday is on that joint. Uh, Skitter Scat is on that joint. Um, I'm trying to think who else is on that joint. <laughs> uh, uh, um, Big O is on that show. What's the joint? Be Real is on that show. What's the joint? KQ drink? is on there. It's a good lineup. What's the joint? Uh, OCA Stacks always be saying. I don't know his joint like I know. Uh, Oh, you talking about OCA? Oh, all mine. Oh, yeah. I that's what it is. Oh, my hell. Oh, <laughs> my. That's that my shit. shit. And him blowing kisses on that song <laughs> on the two reviews. That shit. That shit was tough. Yes. Um. So, pop out on the 12th at Crescendo Studios. And then Monday, it is Show Love at The Pocket with mm-hmm. uh, Amber Marie Toilet Paper, a.k.a. T. Pizzle. Mm-hmm. Um, Nay Danielle and DFG Jew. 
It's going to be a fun, fun night. That's lit. Um, yeah, I think that's it for now. Yeah, so let's get to these topics, man. Um, we might as well start where the whole internet has been uh, since it happened. Um, y'all know what I'm talking about. Mm-hmm. Cat Williams' visit to Club Shay Shay. Um, there were so many articles about this, I didn't know where to start. But I felt like this one was probably the most appropriate because it's a list of everyone that Cat Williams slandered in the special or in the pot, the interview. Did you guys watch the whole thing? I sure yes. did. Yes. I have like an hour left. All right, sure. Okay, so let's see who you <laughs> who you didn't make it to yet. All right. Number one on this list is Steve Harvey. Mm-hmm. Cedric the Entertainer, <coughs> Ricky Smiley, Diddy, Kevin Hart, Jonathan Majors, Michael Blackson, Tyler Perry, Ludacris. Uh, I feel like there was more than that, but that's the starts of it. Okay. Um, how do you guys feel about it? I, since you guys have watched the entirety of it, how do you guys feel about it? I think it was hilarious. I mm-hmm. think there was dramatizations of some truths. Mm-hmm. Um, I think, by and large, Cat's an entertainer. Yeah. He entertained. Mm-hmm. Um, but he had an agenda. What's his agenda? To air his grievances. Okay. But that's <clears throat> always Cat. Yeah. Yeah. Like, I don't, this isn't so far off the yeah. mark for Cat yeah. when he's not acting. Mm-hmm. Right. Like, whenever you get sound bites from Cat Williams, it's usually him sparking shit. Mm-hmm. So I didn't feel like it was that out of pocket. This joint has so many one liners, yo. Mm-hmm. This is the first podcast that was like close to three hours that I've been locked into. Like, that was like, oh, no, nah, like, I'm, I want to get through this three hours. I think like, it's 246 or some shit. It's long. Yeah. Pause. Yeah. And that joint. That joint kept me in from like top to he, bottom. Because he kicked it off. He sparked it as soon as it started. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> like, Shannon did the, the beautiful intro and that nigga got right to it. So look, nigga. Like, no, just, for real. You from let the nigga come bottom. up here and say that he started holding Shannon accountable off the break. Yes. Um, And he said some wild shit, though. He was like, you wouldn't let niggas that juice come in here and talk to real athletes like that. I was like, yo, this man. He was talking. This man. And then he got to trying to prove all of the shit that he did. He said, true. <clears throat> he out here trying to run 40s in a basketball <laughs> dog, gymnasium. That shit Him was... Him running that hard in that gym. That shit was funny, bro. Shirtless. <laughs> and you know he's not... <laughs> and the basketball court is simply not long enough. And you know the nigga's not really that fast because of how loud his steps were. Like, <laughs> it's just... He's coming down with thuds. The nigga was a Clydesdale. Do, 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 you see that fucking frog meme? Anybody see that frog meme with a frog running? Dog. That shit. So, what was your favorite slander? Um, Steve Harvey. Yeah, he was getting to it with Steve. Yeah. Yeah. And it was funny. I like how he said all of them got light skinned, funny face wives. Yeah. And somebody pulled yeah. a picture up of them. Uh huh. And they all kind of look like. And I was like, that makes sense. One of my favorite parts, like, it was so random, but when he started getting in on Jonathan Majors, well, he was like, this nigga is ugly. And y'all, I was like, oh my goodness. Y'all done changed the standard? He was yeah. going crazy. He was like, this wide nose, y'all think this is fine all of a sudden? I was like, oh my gosh, bruh. I think. The thing about Jonathan Majors is his outfits be so outrageous, bro. Are they are they are they worthy of the man next to Coretta Scott? Oh, no, bro. He got to believe in my hey, yo, if, I'm Coretta, in the, if I'm in Dr. King's family, bro, I'm ordering a cease and desist. You gotta stop speaking our they name. They said that. They said that. Cause like, no, absolutely not. Every you try to call a white woman Coretta Scott. King? No, he said she needed to act like Coretta Scott or Michelle Obama. Then he said she's Barack Obama's wife. Yeah, nah. And then, do you see? So I haven't watched the interview on. Uh, <laughs> I know we kind of pivoted, but it connected somehow. It's in there. Yeah, it's in there. I haven't watched the interview on ABC yet, but since Disney owns Marvel, I think him interviewing with ABC is a plan by Disney. Mm. So they could gauge if they want to bring him back or not for the next Marvel installation. I'm not mad at it. It's also pretty smart. It's good business. Yeah, I'm not mad at that. Um, we're back to Cat. Yeah. Um, I do think, like, none of this really has any impact on anyone, what he said. No. <clears throat> uh, but it's entertainment because people love train wrecks. 
You know what I'm saying? So it was fun. Mm-hmm. Yo, the thing he said, I'm sorry. The thing he said about Steve and that shit being a hairpiece. Yeah. For all that time. <laughs> so then my question is, if that was a hairpiece, right? The story he tells about his barber and how he was paying him all this money to cut his hair. What what was he cutting? He was he was getting that hairpiece right. But bro, it's not growing. But you gotta make it look right. Eventually, you're gonna run out of hair. You can't just keep. Dude, it's a hairpiece. You just the so. But y'all not making sense. No, no, no. Here's the thing, though. Right, the hairpiece joint. What they do? Well, I don't know if it was back then, but like I be seeing the shit on on TikTok. They be shaving like the niggas bald, and then they glue it on. Right. So the barber had to shave that shit off, whatever little bit he had, and glue that shit on. <laughs> <laughs> It's called the installation. This nigga say that 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 is what it's called. No, for real. <laughs> he had to install a unit. Yeah, he had his unit installed. That's crazy. I hate saying unit and install unit? so much. Hey, yeah, there's so much. I don't like any of this conversation. Um, I mean, so <laughs> he, what I thought was interesting, that he said about Steve Harvey was like that. Steve Harvey stole Mark uh, Curry show. Hang on, Mr. Cooper. Mm, mm-hmm. mm. And then when I thought about it, I was like, damn. I ain't think about it that way. I was young, but like, huh? That's kind of kind of a thing. Yeah. It's not a stolen show. I've watched both of those things. The only different, only similarity. I don't know, son. They they had the home. I, I'm not about to argue with you. You not even on the mic, son. But I, I hear you. We we can debate off air. I swear. He's still going to talk to us. They can't hear you, nigga. <laughs> but you're not. And like, Mr. Cooper, didn't he have like a family? <laughs> <laughs> so, so, I mean, so Steve was just the bachelor with the homies at the crib. Like it was. He had a high rise. In the city. He had a high rise. I understand. Anyway. All right. So. He didn't have a family, nigga. He had a high rise. So, okay. Point me to the lies. Where did Cat, where did Cat Williams lie? I mean, I haven't really went and fact checked him. I was like, I don't know. Has but anyone said he lied? Nah, not really. I didn't look at the reactions of the celebrities. Kevin Hart and his homies made fun of him on an NBA broadcast. But that was good comedy, right? There. That was good jokes, and then none of it was denials. Yeah, I didn't even see that. That was funny. Tiffany Haddish had some things to say. She was upset. What did she say? Um, that she had been working in in as a comedian since '96. You know she was in Nassau Raven? Yeah, that's what she said. I didn't know that. that you know why you Wait, know that right now? Because I saw it on Hulu. That's why I know it. That ain't, oh, you saw her? Yeah, I saw that on Hulu. Oh. The other, like, her name wasn't there. a name to know then when she was on the show. It wasn't. She was on Pimp My Ride. For real? Yeah. She got a ride Pimp? Yeah. I forgot what, I, I don't know. So those details. people were actors? Yeah. I was about to say, yeah, so lies. You really okay. think them niggas were rolling around the cars with fish tape? With fish it? tanks <laughs> in my dead ass. Well, no, but I just thought that maybe they actually did get people new cars. Nah, bro. How outlandish! <laughs> how outlandish those cars were. They probably weren't even like fit to be on the road. No, they weren't. Well, they were buying. I think they were just buying junk cars and just doing shit to them. Yeah, you know how easy it is. The yeah, I'm gonna buy this, do all this stuff, and then like you're gonna see the returns. And so, okay, that is incredible. So, all right, TV's not real, guys. <laughs> So what do we what do we uh what are what is our, our, our final thoughts on this this Cat Williams interview like? It was brilliant. It was fucking brilliant. But why is it brilliant to you? <clears throat> this man has had the entire internet in a in a frenzy mm-hmm. since it dropped. And he knew that. He literally told Shannon Shop, he was like, Bro, this is about to be your best interview. And ever and that shit has just been the topic of conversation ever since. Yeah. I agree. I was about to say, it felt like he did a set. Just sit, yo. Sitting there. I'm like, oh, this is nice. Yeah. It I, felt, it was, yeah, that's a good way to put it. A sit down stand up. That's a good one, Slippers. I thought it was dope. I enjoyed it. I still have to um, finish the the last hour, but I didn't like the flack I was seeing from people on the, a few people on the internet saying like, oh, Shannon Sharp should have, you know, asked follow-up questions, do all this stuff. 
this nigga did not get a journalism degree, bro. He's just out here hosting a podcast. You're asking, you're like, I think they were looking for something different. And But if you saw any of the previous episodes of what he's done, it went. His interview style hasn't changed. So why would he change it for this one episode? Also, niggas always complaining too. So that's what Yeah, I'm like what else was he? So we got... Uh, what is it like 12 million views or something now? It said some stupid amount of views, right? In less than a week. Mm-hmm. All right. And we're talking about what he didn't do. You know, niggas always hate it, bro. Niggas, niggas just something awesome. clearly worked. <clears throat> yeah. It's just always somebody going to be mad. That's, that's something really, clearly worked. That's really all it boils down to. Always. Yeah. You, you just what? What's your thoughts? Like I said, I thought it was brilliant. brilliant. You know what I'm saying? What about you, sir? I think I think sit down stand up is a great uh name for it. I mm-hmm. think um I think it was masterful. I don't I don't know that it even matters if any of it can be proven true or false. Mm-hmm. It was really just good entertainment. Now that you said that n- <laughs> I do want some of that uh, that uh, Shannon Sharp cognac. Yeah, well, he said that was some good cognac. Yeah. But um, he said that cognac was very good. But he also said that he doesn't need liquor because the truth was going to happen regardless. Mm-hmm. Oh, he said one last thing before we go. He said uh, he came to set the record straight. Yeah, he did. One last thing. I I found it interesting that he played golf. I thought that was that was interesting. Well, he also said he runs like a, a four one forty or some shit, and but that, he that said, wasn't that wasn't true. But he said something very telling that he actually does play golf. Like he was specific. like, he was like, yeah, they told me I could tee from further back, but I was like, I don't get any more points for doing that. Let me just go here and have fun. I was like, yeah, that's literally how. There's literally been like a initiative by the PGA, like nah. It's literally called tee it forward, so niggas could move, cl- play from closer tees. I, I would love to play from as close as possible at all times. Like, I, I, <laughs> it's I, like that's let's, just, yeah. let's get there. It's already hard. So, yeah. <laughs> like, <laughs> hey, <laughs> it's, it's already hard. That is crazy. So, um, this next one's fun. So um, I'm going to read this headline because I don't even think Tim knows what's going on. Yeah. But um, Indianapolis, Indianapolis coffee shop alleges couple had a pop up wedding without paying. Oh, that's tight. So I saw that in Trello, but I was just like, I, I feel like this would be one that I would be better suited to react to a live reaction. Yeah. So the coffee shop is called uh, Mansion Society. It's in Indianapolis, Indiana. Uh. Uh, business claims that they had a, a downpour of patrons spontaneously walked in, uh, including a full bridal and groomsman party and officiant photographers, <laughs> and, among others. The coffee shop said they're used to serving lattes to wedding guests during the weddings, uh, during the weekends because they're located next to a wedding venue. They thought that the party was merely waiting for the entire group to arrive before ordering a wedding ceremony. Only Ceremony allegedly began immediately after the bride walked in. <laughs> That's bro. tight, bro. Nah. Yo, if if Brain and uh and, and Ashley don't do that, that would be wait. It gets worse. <laughs> the group of about twenty or thirty people continue to not only have a wedding ceremony but take pictures, videos, and block pathways for customers trying to enter the <laughs> the, the coffee shop. Yeah. They were asking bro. us to take coats and purses and watch personal items as if they had rented out the the. The shop for a private event. Oh, these niggas came through and acted as their own event staff. Yo, the definition of come in your trap and take over your trap. Bro, Damn. bro. The, the the greatest part about it is, you guessed it, black folk. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Dog. They said, if I can sit in here on my computer and Wi-Fi all day. Did everybody buy a beverage, though? I don't, it doesn't say. Bro, I was going to say, no, keep going. Keep going because um, that, that wasn't even it. 
Oh, the st- okay. The store claimed that the employees were too busy taking orders to attempt to stop the ceremony midway, claiming the social media backlash could have been spun against the two-year-old business. However, they also That's alleged fair. that one barista attempted to stop the wedding party from blocking the entrance to the building with their photo shoot. It didn't take long for the alleged pop-up wedding story to go viral on social media, prompting a range of reactions from confusion to outrage. I oh wait 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 yes wait. yes get there get there okay Manchester Society provided updates since their original statement with more specifics on the matter and claimed that the bridal party in question had become aware of their post and offered a two hundred dollar donation with an apology or accepting responsibility for the event. Uh huh. The shop sent an invoice for the fee based on the rates they typically charge for booking their facilities in hopes to leave the situation in the past. The bride has allegedly not responded with more than that's unreasonable. My nigga. Yeah, that's why I wanted you to get all the way to the that's unreasonable. That's unreasonable. Bitch, what? (laughs) You and 30 of your niggas randomly came in here was like, yeah, we about to have a wedding. Watch out. Bitch, huh? What do you mean? I mean, I'm getting married. You could get the fuck out. I can't because I'm getting married. Mm-hmm. Outside. Mm-mm. Now we know. <laughs> nah, I'm getting married. You gonna stop love? Absolutely. Yeah, uh, yeah, fuck love. But um, this freeloading you know. ass love, I'm, this shit ain't gonna last. Yeah, yes nah. it will because they are innovative. Nah. Okay. they gonna find a way. Nah, yeah, okay. <laughs> they gonna find a way. What you mean, dog? They yeah, block. you absolutely spin on people when you, you do that, and then you spin it on their ass. They block. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, flash mob is crazy. Flash mob. You not getting me out of here. I have an efficient. I have f- photographers. You block the fucking entrance. Excuse me, I'm sorry. To somewhere that you did not rent. Yeah, nah. I'm you, sorry. I apologize. You came with your own private event sign and put that shit up on I'm, my door. I, I apologize. I would have made. Some, I would have made them buy drinks. That's that's really. What all right, we'll all buy a coffee. Mm-hmm. It's thirty. It was great. Nah, that would be forty seven. The minimum is two coffees. Uh, yeah, two t- coffee you minimum. Got, in I would have said a minimum. We were like two, two three. latte minimum in this bitch. Oh, so you want us? You want us jacked up on coffee too? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it's lit. And we got we got a time limit on parties, so you can get jacked up all you want to, but we got a time limit on parties. Listen, but you negotiating. Is. We already got the upper hand. It's more of us than this. You niggas in here working. Bet I'm calling the police. <laughs> I'm calling the fucking I'm, authorities. I'm gonna be married. Get by the then. fuck out, bro. I'm gonna be like, married. Oh by my then. gosh, yo! I don't know if I sound crazy. I'm gonna be married. You don't, you don't, that's not reasonable because you're you're fucking with the flow of business, right? If you can't let people in because you out here taking Instagram photo shoots, that's going to get like these were not Instagram photo shoots. These were professional photographers. Yeah, still gonna get like. I have spent a coin. Still gonna get a hundred right. likes on Instagram. It's not worth it. I'll I'll be the bad guy in this situation. I definitely would have been like, "Yo, you got." I would have called the owner if I'm working. I was like, "Yo, you gotta come down." So you would have stopped the you would have stopped the rest of the coffee operation to stop them because they said they were busy. No, no, no I just would have called the owner and be like, "Hey, you gotta come see this shit," and then he would have came down and and figured the shit out. I feel like. I feel like the owner wasn't called until like Bruh. it was an hour deep. I don't think nobody knew what the fuck to do. Like it he just, might have been at the cult. Do you business. hear what he said in the open? I said they, he said a downpour of patrons, and that was in quotation. So that's like how they word. That was their verbiage. Mm-hmm. A downpour of patrons is fucking hilarious. First so you just thinking, oh, we just busy today. And Bro, and then this bitch come in full gown, and then and, get married. and they start. So Do like what was her what? Was, My question is What music did she walk down The, the so called aisle to They came in there with speakers Yeah Oh yeah They came in there with a fucking JBL <laughs> they, had a, they had a beach pill <laughs> Call them the fucking authorities <laughs> They came in that bitch with a beach pill the And got married fucking authorities bro What <laughs> They had a beach pill and a karaoke mic But coffee shops have music So like did they have that competing With the coffee shop <laughs> music <laughs> Absolutely <laughs> Absolutely, yo. <laughs> that is so crazy. You got you got the the classic wedding music competing with some lo fi jazz. Like what are yeah, you, what are you it's doing? No, it's a vibe. All right, so who's gonna be next? Who? And this bitch was like, "That's not reasonable." I'm gonna see if I'm gonna talk to my girl. I'm gonna say, like, "Nigga, you up? next." The fuck? Like, let's do a, let's do a pop up wedding. And it's I'll either it's either you shop. or uh or Brandon Ava. Yeah, no, nah, I'm gonna talk to him. Be like, when we get married, we gotta do it as a pop up at our favorite coffee shop. And just tell niggas pull up. That shit is crazy. We're just gonna all be in there in tuxedos. Pop up wedding is insane. But we're gonna be deep. It's gonna be like 60. Oh, yeah, we having a wedding. Just pull up. 
to the Cheesecake Factory. <laughs> the fuck? <laughs> so, like, do the vows in front of the cheesecake cakes? Bruh. That's their wedding cake? <laughs> <laughs> Just pick whatever you want. That matter. You can have whatever you like. <laughs> <laughs> that's funny as shit. Yo. But Everybody that's a, wins. No, that's actually, that's not bad. You know, have you the cheesecake menu is? Boy, a, you can't even take them on the first date to cheesecake. How you gonna get married then, bro? Don't don't let the internet. That's not real life, bro. That's that not is. real life. You out here dating? When the last time you been to Cheesecake Factory? Uh, beginning of twenty twenty three. So it's been oh, see since they said stop it, you stopped. <laughs> Look, look. <laughs> I hate you because it's not hey. a matter of the internet. I almost went that day just to prove them niggas wrong, but they got to you. They got to you. But nah, bro, the cheesecake happy hour is fire. I, I don't don't let nobody tell you anything different. All right, it's a lot of five dollar items, and you know their menu is see extensive, extensive. See? They calling you cheap right now. Is it cheap or economical? Two things could be true. That's fair, but the thing is. <laughs> Nah, bro. I but nah, nah, nah. He can't spend. Nah, I can't. He can't spend. I can't spend that one. He, uh, that's you, right? He he don't have that pivot though. What do you say? Say nah, like? nah. You can't get this, bro. This is pirate radio. Yeah, you hey. can't. Yeah. <laughs> this nigga hey. getting, getting coaching. This yeah, nah, cheating. But anyway, I, all right. But my next day is gonna be to the cheesecake factory. Watch, <laughs> watch. The challenge. Yeah. What, what? The temp tape. <laughs> Listen. I'm, uh, I'm just glad that you don't want me to say this. Nah, do what you do. <laughs> do what you do. Yeah. Oh man, what's next? You're you're privy to some information. <laughs> so I I think I hit slippers about this the other day, but I was asking, so I seen a headline that said that Stephen Hawking <laughs> Had an underage orgy on Epstein Island. <laughs> you niggas make me sick. That's not. Y'all make not me funny. sick. It's, I'm sorry. And I know I'm going to hell. That's not funny, bro. It's not. Why am I laughing at that? Because like, right, right, <laughs> going to hell with gasoline draws. Nigga, this that shit. Imagery is so <laughs> stupid. Nigga, this shit was so perplexing. I called my mother. <laughs> I blame Family Guy. For shit like this being No funny. because that's really Some shit that would Pop up yeah, on Family Guy I really blame mm-hmm. Family Guy For the cut scene That that creates In your fucking brain nah, That's exactly I call no. Ma Dukes I, Cause she's a nurse I'm like Ma listen <laughs> Scientifically oh, no. Help me understand And First of all She laughed at me Real hard As she should Um, Like laugh me out Yes Because she what call the you crazy? Fuck? Why bruh No Cause I wanted to understand Mm-mm. Like to what extent Get Was he there. participating in? Get the out of there <laughs> That's insane Like y'all get on my fucking nerves bro. I don't even want to participate in this bro Because it's so dumb Like I don't even want When I was I, I So I looked over Trello Right And I saw that shit <laughs> And I was like Ain't no fucking way bro I was confused And so I opened the link and I was like, you was immediately disappointed with your decision making. Yeah, I was. I was, I was like, this is dumb. I was like, <laughs> yeah, opening a link don't make it better. It don't. It made it worse. And so, like, so none of these questions crossed your mind. No, it, it did. But I was upset that they were in my. I was thinking them. Like, yeah, like I didn't ask for those thoughts. It was just like, hmm, how? But did you see the whole Epstein list? No, I just keep seeing that headline. Nah, I feel like it's a distraction. So I think so. It was the list was released, and it was like fifty names, and it was like some some prominent people on there. Yeah, but I I don't think they all knew what they were getting into, right? Mm. So I think some people just went because imagine, bro, you out with your celebrity friends, and you know they really got it, and he was like, "Yeah, I just bought an island." Me and Stephen Hawking about to go back to the island. Well, it, he, didn't even, he didn't even present it that way. But you just out in LA and you see Epstein and he's like, Yeah, I just bought an island. He just finished renovations, it's lit. And then you're like, who all gonna be there? And he say like, Stephen Hawking. Oh no, if you say Stephen Hawkins, I'm pulling up. <clears throat> because I, I wanna ask this nigga questions. He's one of the smartest people ever. So you going to the island? Before I knew it was a nasty island, yeah. And once I found it was a nasty island, I'm leaving. 
So okay. speaking of the nasty island, because if I have the means to get there, I also have the means to leave. Because it ain't no well, airport. I'm saying, man. like, what makes you think? How, why are you so convinced? Like, like some people like was just like so unaware. Bro, I told people I got an apartment on U Street, and they was like, "Oh, we pulling up the pregame before we go out." You tell me, somebody tells you I have an island. But you I'm not saying, like, up? most of the niggas that said they was gonna pull up, they know you, right? He wasn't inviting complete strangers. Did I'm trying you to speak out to my you, point? I don't know. You ain't make your point. You got to land your point. <clears throat> That's what I'm I saying. I was saying, like, <clears throat> um, I, well, I also didn't see the list, too, so... That's and it thing. was all it was all like celebrities and shit like that. I mean, I believe that, but I'm like, um, you know, sometimes like you be you be knowing like what kind of people like a person is. And, Bird, like, birds of a feather. But yeah, like. Excuse me. Um, I would say yes, I know to that, but all right, perfect case and example, mm. right? Our friendship has grown tremendously in the past year, right? Right. I told you. My people, we got a fucking cabin in the mountains. We about to go skiing. And mm-hmm. I'll tell you to pull up, right? You know it's orgy. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh, bro. <coughs> All right, I'm done. That's crazy. I'm sorry. I'm What's sorry. The go, next ahead. Topic, go ahead. Bro. No, go ahead. That go was ahead. hilarious. Go ahead. That was I'm fucking hilarious. Go ahead and clip bro. it. Make Your it clips. time, man. Yo, this nigga my nerves. Fuck this nigga, bro. You know it's orgies. Point. Nah, Point. Nigga. You see what nah, I'm saying? I'm not going so to the I motherfucking said, cabin but I with said, him and his people. I like, said the mountains, not Deep Creek. <laughs> nah. <laughs> Y'all have got to be stopped. Bro. bro, he thought I was talking about Deep Creek or some shit, bro. I'm not going to Deep Creek. Yeah. But, um, you know, I hear what you're saying now. I feel what you're saying now. I'm saying, like, people was like, if you told me, it's a nigga I know, right? <clears throat> have a fairly decent relationship with. He was like, yo, I bought an island. It's lit. We about to have parties and shit like that. Mm-hmm. Cool. Bet. I'm going to go. And then once I find out, oh, this ain't it. I'm out of there. Because if I have the means to fly to a private island, I also have the means to leave. But you said, well, you were saying like if Epstein invited, you know what I'm saying? I don't know. Uh, but I, I, I guess I see what you You think mean. niggas just pulling up unannounced? That's impossible. I, what I'm saying is you I'm not pressed to go to some white man island and I don't know the white man like that. I don't know what he into. <laughs> I'm not saying but I'm saying like they were obviously cool with each other beforehand. You got the invite. You just didn't know what was going down. You listen. White off people be off a little bit. You could tell a little bit. <laughs> I'm gonna get out of there. I'm gonna get out of there on my own shit. That's cool. <laughs> You're right. They don't know. Nobody knew what the fuck was going on. No, I'm not against anything you're saying. No, this is a, yeah. this is a wild ass conversation. It is, bro. You talking about orgies? Like, what's going on? I, no, don't drag me into y'all bullshit. <laughs> <laughs> I got out of there a long time ago. Hey, yo. But because we were talking about the island, I did want to ask you because you're the sports guy um, about this Pat McAfee backlash shit. So yeah. I read a headline today that said that Pat McAfee um, suggested that his show has been sabotaged by um, ESPN the same day the network apologized for Aaron Rodgers' uh, statements about Jimmy Kimmel. Um, and apparently Aaron Rodgers had made what is now being contextualized as a joke, saying that Jimmy Kimmel was on the Epstein list. Yeah. So um, he actually spoke to that today on on the show. So... Um, he was saying people were like, "Oh, he's trying to get fired and do all that stuff, get out of his contract with ESPN." He's he addressed that first and was like, "No, we're not doing that. Everybody on the inside knows that we're cool." It was essentially just he was using that to essentially go after one person who mm-hmm. was like, "All right, we're cool with everybody, but this person because they obviously have it out for us," and he provided. Evidence, um, of that. evidence of that I don't remember specifically what he said but he went through a list and yeah especially he essentially addressed those comments of him like yo know, being sabotaged and all that stuff and so but I did one I did appreciate him you know addressing that and not running from it he essentially uh started the show with that Today, mm, you kicked it right off. Yeah, because yeah, he's like, Yeah, we're gonna talk football and stuff, but let's, let's spend this, yeah. 
two to three minutes because like his show, I don't know if you watched it. I have. I have. Yeah. Them niggas don't have commercials until the end of each hour. Them niggas go talk straight for an hour. Yeah. So, which is Insane. dope. Yeah. And, but he started off with that, addressed all everything. And he ended by saying, yo, we're good. I didn't like how this was handled. I went after one person. I may have did it wrong, but he essentially said, I'm going to stand on what I said. So, mm. I fuck with it. Even more reason to fuck with Pat McAfee for me. Interesting. I know they said something about um the the, the guy <clears throat> that he spoke about um had basically said put put a narrative out there that the show was underperforming um and the performance ratings for the show are getting ready to come out. So it was like he almost like jumped ahead of it as a preemptive strike to what's Inevitably not going to be negative numbers. Yeah, he was trying. Yeah, he addressed that too. He was like saying some shit about like, yeah, he's trying to make our numbers seem worse than what it is. But what he said is like, yo, we're we're the only show that's on for three hours a day, mm-hmm. and our numbers don't waver for the three hours. Hmm. That's hard because if you if you're doing the show, you also have the same access to the numbers as the the corporate people, and as much as they pay him, and he works six days a week, yeah. So he has he has access to stuff. Yeah. Also, that's a lot of content every week, Mo. Man, it's about to slow down now because college day, game day isn't a thing. Well, after today, college game day is. But over. you're saying he his daily show is three hours, right? Yeah. It's two hours on ESPN and then an additional hour on YouTube slash uh, ESPN Plus. Where So that last hour, I think it's the best hour because it's like it's back to how it was when it was on FanDuel. No censor, no nothing. They just go crazy. Mm. I just really like how that show was set up, though. It's, no, it's insane. Yeah, but it works. No, it does work. Yeah, like Everybody plays their role, mm-hmm. but it's it's a lot going on. It's definitely a lot going on. It's like a locker room conversation. Yeah, and that's how it... And I like how he has um, Darius Butler Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Coach Pagano on Thursdays, and then um, I forget the name of the offensive lineman that they have come in on Thursdays as well. But, like, his ro- like the rotation that he has is just, is just perfect. Like, And he got Aaron Rodgers, right? Yeah, every Tuesday, Aaron Rodgers. Every calls in every Tuesday... Um, every Thursday, Nick Saban calls in. I don't know if that's going to continue during the all season. Right. Um, but I'm just interested to see how he covers basketball and baseball. Mm. How he, the, he didn't really cover those before. Well, I not mean. not during football season. Yeah, because remember he just started right before football season true, at true, ESPN. True, 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 so, true, 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 true. But he has uh he has Kendrick Perkins calls in call in once a week. So probably his time on that show is going to get. Increased, increased. I, I, I'd imagine he he find a string to pull with a player as well, like a, a active player. Mm-hmm. Um, just because that seems to be a part of the model, maybe a coach. Yeah, I wonder who that would be. And what about college basketball? Uh, he calls in the Jay Billis every once in a while. Okay, okay. But college basketball, they're probably not going to cover that until March. Got you. That makes sense. Got you, got you. Okay. So, this is, everything's okay? Yeah, everything's good. It, it, I was, from, I was what, concerned. from what I saw, everything's good. Got it. Um, something else I saw that everything's good. Um, black women winning. Nia Long will receive $32,500 a month from Ime Yudoka uh, in child support via a new custody settlement. Does she have full custody? I don't know. Okay. Let's read the full article. I can't remember what it said. I mean, but for for the numbers, it makes sense. No. Uh, they will share joint custody of their 12-year-old son. I mean, still, so I think the numbers make sense. Yeah. So mm-hmm. now she's getting an extra 32 racks a month. She's got her choice of rappers to date. I mean, but I don't even look at that at that way. I Looking think good. I think it's just it's just a little assistance to help help the young the young kid. Like I feel like she's not the type to 
go blow a bag. She already has a bag. No, I'm I'm on her side. No, no, no. I, I I'm just saying, but I just been seeing niggas talk about on on the internet about that, and I was just like, wait, because they're like, oh, she's near long, she doesn't need the money. Not even that. Mm. One nigga. This is where this is how I know. Uh, no Child Left Behind really fucked us over. <laughs> You've been saying that for like the last two weeks. You want all the kids to be left behind. Yes, because you need to learn before you advance. That's the problem. That's why all these people can't even fucking type. Like, they don't know that they can't identify letters. Yeah. But don't pay, don't pay, <laughs> don't pay cash nowhere. It gets very hectic. Bro. Oh, yeah. Niggas be stressed out with the screen telling them how much to give you back. The fucking change. Oh my god, when they gotta count coins, oh they be fucked up. That's why I need to tell them one quarter, one nickel. Like it gotta tell them exactly what to do. Yeah, that's why I love when like I have like change in my pocket, and it's it's a young younger uh, cashier. Ooh, let's play this game. Let's see if they know what to do. Tormenting them kids, yo. See, they know the difference between a nickel and a quarter. Let's see. <laughs> Tim, Tim do that petty shit and be trying to get whole whole dollars back, so he give him like twelve dollars. That's and what I'm saying. Cent. And then mm-hmm. the, uh, yeah, absolutely. And it be it be it be <laughs> because you're not stealing from them; you're stealing from the company. And fuck these companies. So they just gonna freeze most of the time. You gonna be here longer. That's fine. You're ridiculous. But um, yeah, this dude on Twitter, he was like, so. The headline clearly said he may do. Uh, I don't even know how to pronounce his name, but he makes four hundred sixty k a month, mm-hmm. and Nia Long is thirty two, right? Mm-hmm. A month. Do read it as this nigga makes four hundred sixty a year, and he proceeded to do a math equation. Oh damn! And I was like, "You fucking idiot!" Like, <laughs> <laughs> and so that poor baby yeah. niggas was lighting his ass up. On Twitter That's crazy Because you literally Just read over the month Because you wanted To be upset about this Mm -hmm. And so Yeah man These kids not getting Left behind This was fucking us up And that's why Leave the kids behind No for real You need to Uh, Repeat these grades Absolutely If, If you fail You fail It's okay Go take the class over again Until you pass Yeah All right, Tim standing on it I'm with you I believe in that. Yeah, I believe the children are our future. I failed a class. It's okay. Teach them well. Did you stay back? And let them be the way. No, I was in college. Oh, okay. Well, shout out to Nia Long, man. I'm not mad at her. Nah. <laughs> Salute to her. Yeah, you made, you made, I thought I was giving her love, and you made it feel back. Made it feel like it wasn't that. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I'm cool with her no, getting No, I, I agree. I agree with you. Yeah, I was, I was on her side. Right. I was like, yeah, like. No, nah, it was more so towards. I the, feel like Dr. Umar will be proud, like. It was more so towards He went the, uh, and cheated With the white woman And We don't even know They never even released Who he, he cheated with No they did It was a white woman Oh for real Yeah mm. I thought they said Oh it must have been after Cause the first joint They said Nah this wasn't it Y'all just found somebody On the coaching staff Uh uh-uh, uh hey, White woman Oh uh. mm. Uh huh That's okay uh-huh. Well I hope he's having fun In Houston Yeah let me get my 32.5 <laughs> <laughs> Not my 32.5 Yeah let me get that For real So Solo what was up With Cuz that uh, jumped, jumped over the uh... Yo Mass became Real live Spider-Man Like in real life Hold on so tell him Tell him what you're talking about So In the courtroom Where was this at Oh now, see now you're making me work okay, hold, on, hold on wait No 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 I got you Clark County Clark County Y'all know it Man, The judge I, was attacked in yeah. court The man flew Is that Vegas? Over the Lord Judge What's the thing called? What is it called? It's not the a bench Yeah the ju- you gotta yeah. the bench yeah. The bench Flew over top of that joint And grabbed this white lady By her hair She tried to move But she moved at like The last second Like she couldn't believe That the nigga was approaching her Like that Like he had got loose <laughs> Tackled her ass And the flag came down And everything with it both flags too, just all Both everything. Flags. Everything came down. Yeah, Had so a white man Vegas. in the back scrambling. In Vegas. Mm-hmm. This Apparently, is, no. from what I hear, and I haven't seen the full audio, but I've been seeing a lot of conversation around it. She was very like snarky and like trying to Sassy. agitate him. But you can't do this. Yeah. No. Mass was getting charged with an attempted battery, and then successfully proved her point. Committed a battery. So you know. That's kind of crazy that you proved her point like that, but also. Did you see how he how they 
he was in court today. Did you see how he pulled up to court today? They no. chained this man up like Silence of the Land, like uh, no, uh, Hannibal Lecter. Hannibal, oh, yes, yo, shit, head with the spit Send mask. Send me that. I'm putting that in the video. Oh everything. my god. Yo That but, man look like Bane Then he got a sentence And this is like A separate charge right Like this ain't even I don't yeah, know I don't So how do y'all feel About this now uh, he guilty. Should she He did that shit Be the one trying this The attack on her Like I don't think That's right No I think he mm. was So I think He was in Court today For the sentencing On the original charge Not her Yeah not, not the battery On her Not battery on her Battery on somebody else they didn't finish it. They, I thought that was the, the first trial. She, she demanded him back the in court. She probation. But the other one, pull up the one he just sent you. That's just a picture. What's the picture here? Oh, it's not the... Um, uh-uh. You got a, a follow-up? But no, he has, a, he has additional a charges follow-up. now. Yeah, yeah. There's another charge that he got. And that wasn't what he was in court for today? No. It they was the it sentencing. it was an unrelated case. It was the sentencing to the first, to the reason he was there. Originally, because... It says he was sentenced to 19 to 48 months in connection with a baseball bat attack on a person last year. Got it. Got it. So he still got to go before her for the other shit. Well, I'm assuming it's not going to be her. Be her. It shouldn't okay. be her. Okay. Because she's the victim. You can't be the, the yeah, judge, like the judge. <laughs> like, girl, and the victim. Please. This is very put clearly that nigga, Put that nigga... <laughs> grind him up and put him inside... <laughs> <laughs> the bars of the Because he, he already getting the max Regardless Yeah put that nigga Inside the bars of this Yo you gym. know how wild You gotta be to attack the judge Like what in your mind Thought that was gonna go well I'm surprised they ain't Shoot this nigga And they was throwing punches Yeah like they was real live Back there trying to get busy With that man And I was like yo How did you think that Like what was computing In your head It wasn't puking Look how he grabbed her hair up Like that Look at the initial impact Watch how he get, like, look. <laughs> The initial <Bow>. impact <laughs> <laughs> Scooped her bitch ass up Hey bruh Yo What the fuck She never thought in her life She'd be dethroned like that In her own <laughs> fucking courtroom Dethroned is amazing usage And I like it a lot Bruh Th- Thank you for uh, the episode name I appreciate <laughs> you D- Dethroned is the one Nah they say she wild. So did you watch the whole video? When she like reappeared They said She reappeared like James Brown When he came up to <laughs> I've not seen that. I gotta see that shit, yo. <laughs> oh man, that was that's funny. crazy. Niggas have been really wilding lately. Did y'all y'all see the nigga that jumped in the Bass Pro swimming pool yes. naked? Yes, they said his coochie was up. Yeah, but <laughs> man, coochie was all but out. Didn't he like die in that joint? No, he hopped out. Oh, I thought he died in the water. Mm-mm. That's where the article I read. Okay, I got another crazy one for you, and then we're gonna start talking about stuff people can't see. Bet. Did, did you see the niggas fighting on the platform in Philly? I did not. Okay, so little black dude, what looks like a taller, either light skinned or white guy, right? Mm-hmm. Super tall, super short. David they Goliath. arguing back and forth, back and forth, back and forth, right? You can hear a train's coming. So the the, the little dude is up against one of the, the you know how on the platform it'd be uh, beams. Yeah. He's up against the beam, he kind of cornered. So he finally gets enough space between the two of them, and the dude, the big dude starts trying to tussle with him. And the little dude unloaded a two-piece, pop, pop. And when he hit him, the dude fell back and fell off the platform onto the tracks. And then the train hit him. He died? Oh, my gosh. I swear to God. Damn. Now that niggas. I hope him. he don't go. I don't know. I hope he don't go to jail for like that. If that was self-defense. like that's, He didn't throw. He didn't literally like try to throw him over there. He just was like, he pop, just pop, boom, boom. And, and he dude, stumbled. Shit. And the dude fell back. And, and so if so, but if he was wild. grabbed at his leg because he almost fell with yeah, him. Yeah, like, ah. yeah. <laughs> Hey, that's, that's not funny. That's <laughs> this is why you really ain't got no business fucking with people. Yeah, like I don't know what they was arguing over, but it looked like the little dude was. You know what I'm saying? Like he wasn't trying to do that, and then the dude just kept fucking with him. And I promise you, if we arguing in the subway and the motherfucking lights get the blinking, hold. <laughs> hold. <laughs> <laughs> you start because You no. arguing You start feeling the braille You yeah, go yeah, oh. it ain't even that You go hold on For a good little second You know what You got when it When this train stopped though bitch I'm gonna All smack right. you I hope the door is closing yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Boodoo boo <boo-doo>. The fuck <laughs> Exactly I'm gonna be upside your head Boodoo boodoo Yeah that, <laughs> Yo that shit was crazy The internet be internet And it's too much 
All right. Uh, what else we got? Hey. Tim, did you come up with a Met Monday? No, I didn't. All right, Let's so fuck it. We had half a bar, bro. Oh, shit. God damn. You only get half a bar. bar, 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 bar. All right. Uh, let's see what I got on half a bar. Uh, Tiger Woods and Nike are officially parting ways. Tim, are you are you going to cry? I was sad this morning when I read that. It, it, it really hurt my heart. But I kind of... I knew this was was uh, coming down the pipeline because Nike stopped making golf clubs like five or six years ago. Mm. And so I was like, yeah, it's, it's about to be a wrap. But it it was like 20 years, 20, like it was like in like either early 2000s or late 1990s when Tiger joined uh, Nike. And that's a great run. Like that's a long ass run. It's a long ass run. So I'm interested to see what the it's been the, 27 years. Yeah, and it, it, it's official as of today mm-hmm. that like it was speculation at first. It's official as of today. Yeah, he released a statement uh, yeah. this morning, and he's been wearing Foot Joy or some shit. Yeah, he has been, and as well, I don't like that name. It's a great. <laughs> it's a it's a great shoe though. It's it's a great shoe. It's like it's honestly one of the more comfortable golf shoes. No, I'm sure it is, but it needs a rebrand. That name's trash. That's fine. But um yeah, no, nah, it it's foot joy. <laughs> I do sound crazy. <laughs> That's fucking terrible. It is wild because um They got a website? Footjoy.com. Yeah, that sounds crazy. It does sound crazy, you're right. Mm-hmm. I never even thought about that. I see that you know what's so crazy? I grew up seeing that shit like every fucking day. Cause like not only do they make sure <laughs> you're typing it in. <laughs> not only do they make shoes, but they make like you know the gloves that golfers use? Yeah, they yeah. they make gloves and hats and shit as well too, and like it's always that's the top of the line shit. Oh, they got a my joy section. You can customize your. <laughs> hey, <laughs> my joy. <laughs> what you got on my joys? <laughs> <laughs> oh man, that shit is ridiculous. So, but you're not. You're irritating. But <laughs> you're irritating. That is so crazy. I you know so crazy. <laughs> I have never thought about it like that. <laughs> never in my life have I thought about it like that. But you're a hundred percent correct. Hey, yes. yo. But that's also hey, because I was introduced to this company as a as a fucking elementary school kid. I wasn't that's thinking about true. that shit. That's true. Been playing golf my whole damn You're life. Just excited about your foot joys. You're my joys. <sighs> nah, for real. You got a pair of foot joys. Yeah, he was Jew, he was that joys. nigga, bro. You had a pair of foot joys. That's how you knew uh, you took the game seriously. Hey, and hey, that nigga go. He showed up in foot joys. <laughs> oh my he about god! About to play play. Nah, Yo, bro. that is crazy. I'm about to buy some just cause. Of GP, you gonna you put it on the on the. Uh, in our and they gonna be custom, custom nah, joys. Go my joys. I'm about to go to the driving range in foot joys. Hey, yo, pull the top golf in you foot joys. <laughs> You'll get so much respect. They're gonna be like, "Oh, she lit." I'll even, I'll even give you my golf bag to walk in, so they know you' are serious. My father got one. He he started to get into golf and shit. So For real? let's look yeah. at the, the design of women's pair. Oh shit! So look, we about to, oh we about to go oh, crazy. Wait a minute. Hey, we about to go crazy. Let me know okay. which. Hold on, wait, wait. Let me know which one I I got to plug. So let me know. Yeah, yeah. yeah. The two thirty for your joy. The my joys, yeah. Pulling but, up in my my joys. But but going back, going back to Tiger Woods leaving Nike. It, it yeah. that's all I knew Tiger Woods to be. Twenty seven years. That, I'm fucking twenty seven. That's my whole life. Yeah, yeah. Twenty seven years is a long, it's a long time. Ass time. It bro. is. So many good commercials. Like it's just, it's gonna be weird seeing Tiger Woods in in something else, but the fact that like. He's almost fifty and not really playing like that anymore. Uh huh. It's not gonna be as weird. But like seeing Tiger in a red polo with that Nike swoosh. I meant and, something. And that and that T W yeah. and that T W on the back to let you know it's his. It was it was that was a special moment. It hit different. It that, does hit that different. That T D Z. It does hit different. It's the end of an air. I I'm sad to see it end, but all good things must come to an end. Oh, you going crazy? I'm having a ball over Are you here designing shoes yes, right now? I am. What is this Nike ID? Like, <laughs> yes, nigga. You lucky they ain't got no patent level on this bitch. 
I'd be going crazy if they had Pat Love up here. Them joints actually look smooth as a bitch. Hold on, I'm about to go crazy. I'm they be having some gator which, joints too. Try to see which level I want. Oh, that's hey, yo. What's your what's your primary color? Black. You know it. What's the secondary color? Blue. Blue. Was this a steak? Ooh. It's going yeah. crazy. It's going crazy, nigga. When I came down. Do you got to post your design? Nah, the, nah, the golf horn going to fry me. It's fine. All publicity is good publicity. Somebody finna give me a pair of these. Dude, shit's going crazy. Oh, you they got pet level. Oh, you're shit. Having, hey, you're having too much fun. Oh, shit. Too much fun. I was bro. waiting for you to find it because I know <clears> they <throat> have it. I be seeing these niggas with these leather ass golf shoes, bro. Oh, the white laces are wet. What would the gray do? Ooh. <laughs> Uh, okay. Um, yes. Focus. What's, what, we're doing a show. Half a bar. All right. Second half a bar is. God damn it. Where's the button? You only get half a bar. 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 Uh. Ari Lennox took to her live and was talking about her experience on the Rod Wave Good. tour. Oh my gosh! I ain't even open that joint. What she say? You went to the Rod Wave. Right. Party. That's why I'm like, what she say? She but was. Sick. She opened on it, right? Yes. Okay. She was. Sick. But you saw her here. Yeah, I did. She I think like it's a slightly different experience. Yeah, I think it's a slightly different experience here. But she, niggas was throwing bottles at her and shit on stage. Damn, I did not know that they were like, throwing her that they dirty. Were, yeah, but also like, that shit don't match sure. up. I was like, why was she on this tour? It's Tusi, Rod Wave, and Ari Lennox, and there was another nigga too. Oh, I feel so bad. I don't remember his name. Not Tusi. No, it was like some bad. other nigga, like Illmatic. I don't know. Something. Illmatic? That's a Nas album. Ill, no. <laughs> it's crazy. I don't remember that nigga name. I'm so sorry, nigga. Ugh. I don't know who that man is. Sorry, yeah. this man. No, but man. it was I even mean, seeing her, my bad, even seeing her here, I thought that was kind of crazy. I was like, like, I didn't think about that. Like, why is she on this tour? But um, they weren't really fucking with her like that when I seen her. Yeah, like, that's crazy. Because them niggas are depressed, bro. Hurt people hurt people. That was a really odd crowd. Me being there, that was my first concert that I went to that I wasn't like working in like a long time. It was so many like young ass people there, yo. That are sad. They wasn't, I mean, they was like turnt, but like, I don't know. I really don't know what it's nah, if you listen to Rod, It's a weird generation. If you listen to Rodway's music consistently, you're sad. Consistently, if you're doing this like every day, bitch, like, you're yeah, sad, bro. You might need a psychology today. All right. <laughs> but. Yeah, he be cranking sometimes. You know what I'm saying? Tracy like, Kangos was, was nice. Wait, we're not talking about Rod Wade. We're talking about Sister Ari. Yeah, yeah felt, that was wild to I felt me. Bad. I, honestly, I felt bad for Yeah, her. I don't think she deserved that on tour regardless, right? But then, like, what the fuck? I think it's Why just... Why is that how y'all acting? Yeah, and I did it's... I not know niggas... Who did, knew she was on the show. Who did, Rico, who did Rico open for? Because the same thing happened to Rico. Yeah. It's all the weird... Young niggas, bro. Why did that happen to her on Playboy Cardi's joint though? Cause they match up. Like I could kind of maybe, maybe see these what niggas you're just saying. don't like women. They don't. I mean, well, that could make fucking sense. They really don't, and it's sad. They do not like women. I'm so shocked though at people tossing shit at her. I was so unaware that that, that was happening on the tour. Yeah. Like that's crazy. Mm-hmm. Somebody threw a water bottle at her. She cussed them out, and they threw a couple things at Ari. That's wild as shit. Yeah. I think the Ari, I think Ari, her next tour needs to be with like an R&B legend. Yes. Or her own. Well, she already She's did done her, her own tour. She already done her own tour. But it wasn't a stadium tour. So like, I get, you know what I'm saying? Mm. Why? To a certain extent, but that ain't the stadium tour for her. Yeah. And also, these niggas don't be having home training, bro. Like. Yeah. It'd be times where I go see an artist at a stadium and, or even at a, at a Howard or a Silver Spring. I don't like the opener. I'm not throwing no shit, bro. No. That means I literally had to buy something to throw something. And that shit is expensive at the arena. That water be expensive. I'm not throwing no five dollar bottle of water at this. That's five dollars for water. Shit. That's like yeah. ten. I know, right? That's real. Like, she yeah, was like nah. Capital One. That's like ten. I bought one drink. I think it was a double shot. The bitch was like forty six dollars. Yeah. And I enjoyed the fuck out that shot. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Slow sipping that motherfucker. Mm, was lit all mm-hmm. night. Mm-hmm. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> She said, we going to babysit this. Absolutely. Absolutely. That's why you pregame. That's that's it's yeah. me and you tonight, all right, Cup? Mm. Yeah, that, that J-Mo Ginger uh, double is 32 at Cap 1. So, bro. Know. We're going to do this all one I had time was and the one time. I the tequila with the Red Bull. Say what? 
All I had was a tequila, tequila with a red bull. I thought you said tequila. I thought I, I, I was going to zoom past it. Nah, do you still have longevity? I do. What? <laughs> do I? See if Y'all I can find it. Shit. Longevity. That is not uh, a word. Anderson. <laughs> That's how his word. Feel, how do you feel <laughs> that not being used on you? <laughs> You're on the other side. Um, do we got new music? Who got new music? Does anybody have new music? I did. I, I submitted something. You did? Last minute. No. Buzzer beater. All right, let's the see. There's too I much music in the new music. To but show. yeah, I just I just hope that um that Ari just just gets on tour with somebody like an R and B show if she's gonna open and not do her own. I agree. Why would they be imagine Ari and, and Victoria Monet? That shit would have been lit. Who opened for Victoria Monet? Uh, Alex. Well, she had different. I was to say it was different oh, yeah. in different cities, right? Because that wasn't the whole yeah, tour. Yeah, Alex right? did the Northeast. Ombre did the South, and I forgot who did oh, it was. Gotcha. I'm not a huge fan of Victoria Monet, but when I saw her do the show at Howard, I was like, "All right, bitch, I get it." Like, <laughs> that shit, no Ari, funny shit. Ari, like, no, Ari, bitch is funny. That's why I laughed. <laughs> that was like, nah, but I was like, nah, like I get it. You know what I'm saying? Like the set was all of that British shit. The lights was all good. The outfit changes. And nah, shit. man, she she is really dope. I yeah. I enjoy her music. It was a show. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Like everybody be wanting to just lip sync over their tracks and half shake their hips and shit. Half shake, like quarter shake. Yeah. No, she, she, she she's the real deal. I I her and Jacquees, because everybody that know me know I'm not a fan of his music like that. I haven't listened to Jacquees but since I was in his college. His showmanship, that his he, the way he performed, I was like, oh my goodness. All right, little nigga, I feel what you're doing. Like that's really not crazy. Nigga, like that's nuts. But not like little, that. But, but you you nigga. gotta stop, bro. <laughs> you but keep keep checking me, please. I'm trying to get better. Got a phone yeah, call. No. Yeah, nah. It's a lot going on on my, my wrist module. <laughs> the wrist module is funny, but that's actually what it's called. Yeah, so nah. what's the sitch? Um, I think we're going to do new music. <laughs> <laughs> I think we're going to do new music, if that's okay with you. Mm-hmm. Okay. <laughs> so, so what's the sitch? Y'all had a whole thing and then go, hey, nigga, you ready? <laughs> All right. We was buying you time. We was doing. We Y'all was, bought me a lot. Okay. We was good hosts. Oh, I'm getting better. better. You feel me? Oh, look at this chemistry. All right, I'm gonna play some new Suizo. Oh yes, Jay. Yeah, why he do that to uh to little Noah like that? Do what? He woke that nigga up. <laughs> he was sleeping in the back of the car. <laughs> oh Noah, because Noah hey, yeah. Noah got an album he about to put out. He gotta get it together. Noah ready. He said, "I'm six. Your man, yeah. 22." <laughs> yeah. Hey. Tell him get his shit together. <laughs> All right, this is a Suizo new release. This track is called Body. It's uh, listed as an R&B and soul song. It's released on January 1st. Oh, Tim mm-hmm, sent mm-hmm. me a title link. Mm-hmm. Oh, shit, I'm sorry. God damn it, Timothy. All right, that was... Uh, Play solo song, and I'll sing you the... Uh, I got to get solos, too. Oh, shit. Um, but that was um, Suizo. That joint was called Body. Um, okay, you sent me... Toad of the Fern. What song is it? It's Oregon. Got it, okay. Um, you got something solo? I'm trying to see. Okay, I'm don't like, stress yourself. I might got a buzzer beater. All right. So uh, next up in new music, we got Coda the Friend. This is off the project Lyrics to Go Volume 5, which has not released. Look, he's doing a bit of a waterfall release. Uh, no, it drops on the 25th. There we go. Uh, this is track. The first single is called uh, Oregon. Let's go. No. <clears throat> that was dope. No. 
Nas playing? Yeah, hell no. I don't know how I decided that that was what was next. Um, shout out to Apple's algorithm. That was booty. There you go. Um, ass. Ass. All right, that was Coded a Friend. That track was called Oregon off the forthcoming project. Lyrics to go. Second. Volume five. <laughs> You always have to get that off. I'm never saying forthcoming again. <laughs> <laughs> but no, that was good. That was honestly that was honestly my first time hearing that. Oh, you just pulled the song out of your ass. I did out of my keister. Yeah, your, your keister. Yeah. See, I mean, because I it wasn't a lot of. I didn't really do a good job. There wasn't a lot of new music that came out though. Yeah, I didn't really do a good job. Um, let's see if uh, Solo has anything in her keister. <laughs> I'm a little constipated this week. Yeah, good. I'm sorry. <laughs> The, the Keister Chronicles is in there. Sorry. Um, but I did forget a topic that you had. What? That should have been a half a bar. So I'm going to play that real quick. And then we're going to we're gonna say this because this is insanity. That. You only get half a bar. So oh, you oh. sent in and it somehow got left at the bottom of the list. Um, a plane door was violently ripped off during a flight 1,600 feet in the air. Had forced an emergency landing. Luckily, the people who were supposed to sit next to the door missed the flight. A kid's shoes and headphones also flew off. Um, nobody was seriously injured. I also read somewhere that a kid's shirt was ripped off. Yeah, his body. the shirt was the shirt Yo. came off too. And it wasn't the emergency exit door. It was one of the doors like in like near the back. Okay. Or like it was like was it like. I don't like know a, what it was. It's what called I, like a foliage or something. It what was, I don't understand is how does a piece of the airplane just leave? And it was a flight? brand new plane. No, that shit was wild. I saw the little clip of the, um, you saw the clip of it yeah. when they were in the plane and, yeah. the, and the door was just off. And they just, I was like, yo, you know how cold it got to be? Mm-hmm. Yeah, so they, so they, so that happened within the first 20 minutes of the flight. So they circled back and landed. I had to do the emergency landing. <clears throat> yeah. yeah. And, uh, <clears throat> Excuse me. That was they so were, crazy. We got close to it. See if you saw any uh, debris. Leave the, leave the. See, you got the door. You about to put it on eBay. <laughs> 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 yeah, because it was in Portland. They were leaving Portland. I can see it now. I leave. That nigga called me. Nigga, I really do got the door. <laughs> hey. Shit. Yo. You, I was like, how yo, you know? how the plane just fall apart like that? A brand new plane. It, the, they said the plane like just got into like the rotation of like other planes mm-hmm. in November. So the shit is brand new. I'm like y'all didn't check this nah, bitch out. Yeah, yeah. Like y'all ain't check this bitch out for real. Got up here, whole door off the hinges, bitch. We gotta make <laughs> a U. Hinge. We gotta make a U turn in the air. I'm wondering what the compensation, the compensation looked like for the passengers. You got it, like. Not only, not only do my, my rebook is free, but I got to get something. I got like a travel credit or something. Yeah, like the, the trauma. I could have say the emotional stress that comes with this shit. What the fuck you mean? I was in the air. Uh, I'm uh, not secure. I was just in the air. Just That's floating. Hole. Just floating. Yeah, just with a <laughs> hole in there. The wind all turbulence is different now. Like shit is crazy. So I did see something that it's funny in hindsight. But oh shit, we going to hell. This lady, she was having a you know how like they tell you in the demonstration, yeah, so the oxygen mask fell. Yeah. Of course. Uh-huh. So this lady was having a panic attack because she was breathing, but her bag wasn't like expanding. Uh-huh. <laughs> so she was it's like, so am I not breathing? <laughs> so she was panicked. She was having a panic attack. But she, she ain't believe she was breathing while she was talking about not breathing. So she was dead already. This, so this she one was, here. <laughs> but this is see circle back. It's by some of these people that be left behind, bro. They fight or flight. Her yeah, her shit. Yeah, she was a little. Yo, delayed fight or flight movie. in the middle of the air is nuts. Wild as shit. I would have two pieced the fuck out the car, out the pilot. Like when we got all the flight attendants, somebody got to catch it. Like no, somebody, I'm getting the body. Yeah, like I'm y'all. Getting the body. Are, so Absolutely like, what fucking was fucking insane? So like, what was missed in the pre-flight check? Because the fucking screws on the door. They have to do. I've had plane. I had flights delayed because they were still checking the plane and shit like that. Yeah, so, hell yeah. I've had to get off a plane because the shit was not right. Now mm-hmm. I gotta see niggas yank on the fucking doors. Did y'all yank on the doors? Yeah, like that's crazy. Nah, right, bro. All right, last story about this. Oh, shit, this. here we go. All right, so what's the name about this? It's about my father a few years ago. So he was in a flight. This was like, this was right before I was born. And so 
I did say a few years ago, shut up. But uh, <laughs> I, it took a second for that to get. I was like, wait, what? But so so it was like one of the little smaller planes. Shut the fuck up. I hate this nigga. But a crop duster. Yeah. <laughs> so his flight got like canceled because they said the plane was going to get too hot. <laughs> they can't wait. Like an iPhone. Yes. Go emergency <laughs> shutdown. He said, but this nigga was like, I can only imagine my father getting like upset at other people because that nigga is just like the most fuck it and then just make a joke about it type nigga but he was like apparently when he's telling the story he was literally upset he was like how the fuck the plane gonna get too hot what, is, what sense does that make makes sense yeah so he was like <laughs> yeah. so he was like 45 yeah. minutes later he was like you know what these people would know if the plane gets hot, <laughs> and I, I wouldn't know. <laughs> so, <laughs> Maybe we'll let them cook. And so he had to go up there and apologize. Like, yo, my bad. I, I appreciate that because my dumb ass. <laughs> he out there by the plane like, what's this? The Tobinator. The Tobinator connected to the motor. <laughs> hey, yo. Dog. This nigga giving them a, talking about carburetors and shit. It ain't none of that shit on this airplane, nigga. On this on this little crop duster, bro. This nigga is going crazy. All right, man. Uh, this has been uh, the Baseline Podcast. Ooh, episode 233. 233. Good job, guys, because I had no idea. You ain't no help. Thank you. Uh, what I'm going to play to get up out of here? Okay, I found it. All right. Uh, Young Mitchell, you got anything to say to these people before we get up out of here? Um, Hoya Saxa, Ed Cooley got his first uh, Big East win as uh, Georgetown's head coach. So okay. Shout out to him. Good start. Good start. Good start. We already we already have more wins than we did last year. So we're, we're, All moving, right. we're moving in the right direction. There we go. It's a start. Uh, a start. Solo? Um, I ain't got nothing. This was a great fucking episode. You wow. feel me? I'm going I'm to stay away from the flights for a little bit. Don't do it. <laughs> Baseline. All right. As we do it this time every week, Young Mitchell, can you tell them people what to do? Um, close them doors. You know it. Step back. Doors closing. First of all, we live. Live, live.